Hello, welcome to our Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy, and good morning. Um, yeah. All right, we're going to start right on into it. Um, we're going to start with In the Chapel. And it is from Romans 12, 14. Bless them which persecute you. Bless and not curse. So, in other words, say a prayer for those that treat you badly and don't curse them. And I'm working on that. And it is what it is. So, um, all right, we're going to get right on into it. Uh, in the basket. <coughs> so, I have this, which I have not showed you in a while. Um, I've only picked it up and done like, I think one round on each square I mean I haven't gotten much further I just it takes concentration and here lately I haven't had the time to sit and concentrate on what I'm doing so very little progress on this um, just because I have to count every side and every row so in order for me to do it right I don't know why it's like that there's two of those so but this is just one that's going to take me a little longer. Um, the yarn is beautiful, so it'll get there. Um, the other one is this, and I haven't even, if I worked on this at all, which I know I did, but I don't think I got like one green section done of it. So um, I might have done that much. But I mean, it's, mm, oops, my hook is caught. It is um, about three foot long and it has to go to 64 inches so it's getting there um, I've been trying to concentrate on this one but if I have to rate them this is my second one that I have to count because in this one it's not counting the rows it's there's one row these are all V stitches and then the next row you have to count and do a certain number of stitches and then the V stitch and then a certain number. And so I have to figure out which row I'm on every time I put it down and then I figure out which count I'm on. So it's not hard, simple. It's a repeat pattern in this thing. Um, the colored section is all V and then this one, yeah, it's super easy pattern it's not hard I just I don't know honestly I think this one's kind of getting boring for me I mean, it's not one of my favorite patterns so and finally the one that I have been doing and it's a mindless little crochet is the poncho and it's taken me longer to get further because <laughs> The rows are getting longer. So, yeah. The rows are getting longer. That's what it comes down to. So, um, I am doing it this little cream and, and lavender color. And it's really cute. Um, it's one, this is a mindless one. Um, you just, it's all double crochet. It, honestly, that's it. It's all double crochet easy easy so all right that's what i have in the basket um totally hooked <laughs> i have two little projects and we'll get to why i made these in the farmhouse so i have this little bow tie and i have this little bow tie um, this is my first experiment. I still have ends to weave in. This isn't the one that I will be using. This one is. So, um, I just made those two little bow tie things. My phone is going off and I'm going to ignore it because I don't want to get up, walk away and come back. Um, so I made those and got those. Yes, I will walk away and turn it. It's driving me crazy. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> it was driving me crazy. So, all right. Um, 
that is the only thing I have totally hooked. Those are the only three projects that I have going on that I am consistently working on. I have one other one that it's a winter one and I just can't get into it. And I'm actually thinking about frogging it and making something else, but I'm contemplating. I don't know. I'll let you know how that goes. Um, on the wheel, I don't have anything. Both my wheels are finished. That's because I finished this and I'm not real happy with it. This is that um, gray that I was spinning. It spun really good, but what I don't like about it is I Navajo plied it. So I've got this beautiful yarn and I hate it because number one is way too heavy. It's just a very heavy yarn. It, I don't know. I, I'm not really liking it. I, I'm not liking the way it plied up. I'm not liking, you know. So yeah, I got like 296 yards or 286 yards. I can't remember. Right under 300 yards of this. And here's the thing is I can always make a dog bed with this. I can always make, I don't have to like it. It's not something that, you know, I would gift to anybody else because if I don't like it and I don't like the way it worked up, it's just heavy. Just heavy, didn't ply as well Navajo like I thought it would. So, and that's the other thing is I got something in my head and it didn't turn out like that. So now I'm like, Ugh. Uh, I hate that when I picture it in my head and then it doesn't go that way. So yeah, it, I do that quite frequently. So, all right. The other thing that I did do, and you guys are gonna laugh, this is actually kind of funny, but not really. Okay. Sorry. So, um, I, uh, I'm collecting. I'm not really. I got my next uh, kit from Mary Maxim. And this yarn is the actual yarn that I used to make this. I kind of wanted to see how it would work up. And this is adjustable. This little bow tie is adjustable. You just pull the things. Yeah. And then it goes smaller or goes bigger. So, anyway. So, I got my next kit and I did, um, I think it's cute and I love the yarn and believe it or not, this is a cotton, um, well, it's mostly cotton. What was it? Uh, uh found it on here once. Yeah. Cotton and polyester. And it, it actually is really, I think it'll do a good drapey thing and since this is the it's a summer top okay there's a stitch so that's going to make it really drapey and here's another picture of it up close it will have drape and stretch and I think that this yarn is perfect for it to be honest with you now, there's only one little problem. So, you know, Mary Maxim was switching over to their new computer system. And they delayed the crochet stuff because they had an issue. Well, <coughs> their issue was, is that um, some of the things went in twice. And so double orders and they had to go back through and make sure there was no more double orders well remember when there was a glitch and I ended up with this one which still has a little thing in it from the lady who won it but she won't contact me so I don't know where to uh, send it so yeah pretty much that's useless um, so now uh, with their computer glitch apparently they tried to catch them all it didn't succeed I have two of these this is the one I'm going to do a giveaway 
I'm going to do something with this. If you guys have ideas on what I can do with these, because people are not claiming them. So, and I mean, I can't make them claim them, but I can't have them here at my house either. Um, I have a roommate, I have limited space. Yeah, this is one, two, three, four, five balls of this. And it's amazing yarn. It's got these little um, green pops of color. I don't know if you can see that. There. And they really work up cute. And I think it will work up pretty cute because it, the way it'll be loose and stuff, that those little pops of color will be in there. I mean, you can see them. There we go. And it's this beautiful blue. It, it's like a aqua blue. So, I guess I'm going to do another drawing, but honestly, I don't want to do it if nobody's going to claim it. RJ and I have had this problem in the past that people just don't come back and look, don't care. They enter, but they expect us to notify them. I don't have time to go back through and notify everybody. I have a job. I have the farm. I have you know, the housework here. Uh, I I have too much going on and we're going to talk about that in the farmhouse here in a minute because I'm going to add to my plate. In more ways than one, just so you know. But I don't have time. If, if they're not going to come back and look and see if they won, I can't ship them to them. It's always... And, and you know a lot of the YouTube channels do it that way um, they don't you know they just expect you to contact them and say hey I won here's my address and the needles have already been sent out I'm hoping that um, our winner on the needles got them and is happy with them uh, but I haven't heard anything I have tracking numbers on all of it just in case I hear that they didn't. So, um, yeah. I, I want to do another giveaway to get rid of this stuff. I mean, not that it's not great stuff, but I already have them. And I'm not going to do two. So, um, I don't know. I mean, y'all see how long it's taken me to finish that one. I've already got this one. Yeah. And this one was delayed. So, um. I need to get my button gear and get this one done and get started on the summer top. But anyway, I don't know. Don't know what to do. Want to provide them to those that, that watch and yet it's not really happening because those that watch don't get back with me. And so, I mean, RJ and I, there was one drawing. We just kept redrawing every week until somebody finally claimed it. Um, and it was an autograph book with a pattern and yarn and all kinds of stuff in it. And I just don't know. Don't know. So, if you have any ideas on what to do with these, um, if I want to do a big giveaway, that way people would be more apt to come back and look and do both of them. I mean, this is, you know, $40, $50 club-wise. So, and I wasn't charged for it because it was their mistake. They said give it away, so I'm trying to give it to you guys. Um, let me know how you think that this should be handled, and uh, I will see what I can do because uh, I just... I don't know. I'm just getting discouraged with the whole giveaway thing because people don't claim it and, you know, they want, 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 and they're like, when are you going to do another giveaway? Well, I do, but nobody claims, you know, so, all right, enough of that, enough gripey, got to have more coffee. <laughs> all right, so, I haven't dyed anything. Um, my strawberries haven't come up. I just bought little cheap ones that are those roots that are, they're not even live plants. Well, they're 
they're just the tubular roots and I don't know that they're going to take. So I haven't done any gardening. I have been looking at farmers markets and it looks like I'm just going to shop farmers markets this year because of the whole greenhouse tumbling over freeze in April and it wasn't May. I don't know. So yeah, I'm just not going to do a whole lot in the fields. RJ's world. Um, okay. So first off the truck has given him some fits and it goes to the mechanic yesterday. So he has my car, which normally wouldn't be a problem. Um, roommate has a spare car. I just borrow it. The problem is Coop's appointment for her follow-up is today and you can't get it there in a car. So RJ is, had, has borrowed another vehicle and her incision's looking great. The tube is going to be removed today. Nothing blackened, nothing fell out. Um, it all looks really good from my point of view and RJ's point of view. Uh, we'll see what the vet says today. So, um, it's just one of those things where it's like, hmm, you know, we know what we think and I know that God took care of it because I said so. If you have ever just felt something in your heart and declared it and know that it's going to be the way you declared it, you understand the feeling I'm talking about. I've had too much on my plate for a little bit now. Um, just paperwork with the farm and taxes and uh, just all kind coop surgery and, and just stressful. Just a little stressful um, letting RJ grow up, not being there to you know, this is the first surgery that I haven't been there to change the bandages myself. Um, I haven't been there to check the wound every day. I haven't been there to harp on him, make sure it's clean, make sure it's clean, you know. It's hard to let him grow up, especially when it could be at the expense of that horse. Um, I do trust him, and he has grown into... An amazing young man uh, but <laughs> it's just created this stress in me so anyway uh, so the truck is out he's going to get coop stitches out today and we will see what the vet says about her incision and everything it looks good to us um, the tube didn't fall out, which he had warned us. If it falls out, we'll be set back a little bit in the healing process. Um, it's not inflamed, uh, red, festering. It doesn't seem to have any heat to it. So we know that it's going to be good. We know our report this week is going to be good. So we did get the biopsy back on it and it is going, it, the mass, the reason that it didn't respond to um, antibiotics is because it was a fungal infection and that he the vet when he called us he said well there is one little thing I need to make you aware of um, he ended up taking more skin and that because if you remember he was having trouble detaching the mass because of all the little corpulary or whatever they call it, little tentacles that suck in so he did nick one um, and that's what made him give up and take more skin even though he didn't want to but he said that they flushed it and sterilized it you know every place knowing that you know that could make it grow back so he says there is a small chance that a small in fact or small mass might come back from that fungus but he didn't think so, but he just wanted to be honest with us. He said that even if it did come back, it shouldn't be big enough to bother her. Um, it won't be painful like the last one was. So, mm -hmm. but anyway, all right. So that's RJ's world, the truck, the horse. I really don't have 
any update on Coop other than we just know it's going to be fine. We know she's going to do, I mean, it's been stressful. It's been a pain, but we just know, you know, you, you just, it is. I don't know how to tell you. I know, but it is. And next week you'll see. So in the farmhouse for me, <laughs> um, first off I was doing home health and I switched to another job. The, I don't know if I want to call her girl, lady, whatever, um, that I did home health for, I fought and got visitation rights with her and I will get her every other Tuesday and on all holidays. She doesn't have a guardian here in town. Her guardian and I have become pretty good friends and she's up in Michigan and I didn't like that she didn't get to do anything for the holidays. You know, she didn't, it, we'd cook for their house. But if you remember last year, I brought her here. She spent the night um, for Thanksgiving and Christmas and we had the meal. So yeah, um, I got legal rights to do that. So I now have Krista every two weeks. And I like it. She's just going to come for dinner every two weeks. And roommate is ecstatic. They were tight. Um, roommate and Krista got along amazingly. Uh, Krista is mentally challenged. But she has to come every Tuesday night. Hang out with us. Go home. And just do our thing. And then on holidays, I get her. So... I ran into some roadblocks along the way, including the new uh, house manager who said, no, you can't have her because that takes my hours and I need those hours to live. It's not about the money for me and I don't care. And no, nope, nope, nope. So yeah. It is what it is, and she will be coming for dinner every other Tuesday, starting next Tuesday. I don't get her. No, this is Thursday. I can't remember. Yeah, I get her this coming up Tuesday. So, yep, this coming up Tuesday. So, anyway, that went on. And then, did I go get my phone? I did. And then I've been kind of contemplating <sighs> on adding a new family member to my house, to my home. Um, Y'all know that I lost Moose and he was my little rat dog. And so this is a picture that I saw online and I called on it and it is a little dachshund just like before and I went down and looked at it well long story short um, my new boss her mom and dad had to euthanize their long 16 or 17 year old dachshund this week and she was like I wish I could find another one because they they just don't want to be dogless and i showed her that picture so this is what the little guy looks like right now and she said are you going to look at them and i said yes i am and she said do you think he's got two i said i don't know i can find out so when i went down there um my boss's parents anniversary is next weekend okay and she wanted to present them with this little puppy and say here you know that gives you something to transfer your love onto well when i got down there he did have another one left but he hadn't said anything about you know so these are the two that he has left 
and the little red one will go to uh, my boss's parents. Even though I've been watching it grow up and he's been sending me pictures, they are older and they do, and there's a reason. So this guy right here, and once you look at that face, you'll know why. Um, yeah, he's adorable. He is absolutely adorable. He's got a little milk, got milk mustache and goatee, and it's white. See, looks like he's got lips. He's just got personality. Now, the problem is, is if you look back at that picture, um, and I know showing you this way isn't great, but so right, uh, right there, you can see it looks like his ear is flipped back. It is not. The mom accidentally bit it off when she was cleaning them. Uh, she had six puppies, and that's the most she'd ever had. And it, it happens. Um, he said he noticed a little blood, cleaned it up. But I told him, if you look at this side, oops, we'll just have to take pictures from his good side. So he's got some problems. And when have you ever known me not to take the dog with the problems? As long as they're healthy internally, the ear thing is cosmetic, honestly. And see, if you take a picture of him like this, you can't tell. But if you take a picture of him like this, and you know what, you can. Now, if he turns out to be long haired, we might be able to style his hair over it so that it's not so evident, but I don't care. Every animal I've ever had is perfectly imperfect are imperfectly perfect, I guess. I don't know how to say it. Everything's perfect in God's eyes. And I miss Moose. Moose had a horrible, horrible attitude, guys. He bit RJ. Not once, but like several times. He bit people. He was horrible. He had his own. And he wasn't abused. He wasn't anything. He went everywhere with me. Just if you tried to touch him and you weren't me, he would try and lay you open. He doesn't like, don't touch me. Leave me alone. Uh, he had a bad attitude. I loved him the same. Um, RJ used to cuss him. But then again, he bit RJ. Um, it... Every dog has its own personality and its own glitches and its own. That dog could be the sweetest dog. You don't know. Actually, I do. Okay, he peed down me. I drove down with roommate. Had to go to work. And so, roommate's mother had nothing else to do. So, she went with me. And she's the hand you see holding the little red one. But I had the little brown one. And I think I'm going to name him Woofer. Like, woof, woof. Woofer. And I was holding him up on my shirt, and he peed down my shirt, and I had on a white shirt. Yeah, it happened. I was peed on. I figure if he pees on me, he's marking me as his territory. They are both little boys. One will go to my boss's parents, and one will be mine. And that is what this little blue bow tie is for, is for my boss's parents. And I'm hoping to be able to just put it on, you know, so that he's all nice and cute. Um, as a gift. So, anyway, but they will be six weeks old when they come home. Um, and me being me, I will be up every two hours giving him a little bit of food because I want to get him on full feed. Um, I like the fact that I can just, this sounds ridiculous. I like the fact that I can put food out and I don't have to worry about my dog. You know, it's, I got to go do, you know, feed the dogs. Nope. I fill the bowl when it gets low. I make sure that they eat it down and me eat everything away so that nothing's going stale. And then I put out more. He's on full feed. He grazes. He goes and gets a bite when he's hungry. He gets his chewy treats whenever, I don't know, I really don't have a routine with those either. 
Um, yeah, I like that. There's always water down. There's always food down. The dogs can graze as they go. And I don't have any dogs with weight problem. No one sits there and, you know, but the key to doing that, you have to be willing to get up in the middle of the night and take that edge off their tummy so that they get it, that they understand that they're not going to go hungry. You know, you have to show them that they can get up in the middle of the night and go get something to eat. You know, when their tummy gets hungry, they just go get eat food. But you have to train them that way. So I will be getting up every two hours or so and then stretching it out further and further with a little bit of wet food. Just enough to take the edge off, give him a little food, rock him back to sleep kind of thing. And, you know, then go back to bed. And I will probably be doing that for about a month. I think that's how long it took for Moose to get it. And then after that, um, and you could put Moose in his kennel and feed him and he'd leave food. You know, we tried the feed in the morning, feed at night, especially when I was, had him with me and going places because he, he didn't have access to the food all day because he was in my arm. But he still would leave food. He never overate. He wasn't fat. And I kind of like that. So, what Hitch? Hitch is just being Hitch. Hitch, hey. Hey, what are you doing? Huh? Are you hot? Huh? Are you hot? What are you doing? He says, I'm stretching and laying down. He's silly. All right. So, Wolfer should come home. I get Krista on Tuesday, the 22nd. Wolfer is coming home that Friday. So, the other thing that's in the farmhouse is I've been working. I um, found an old swing. I sanded it and restained it. And then I bought a metal frame for it and I put it together. Today I am going to get some um, oh, grass killer. And then we're going to put mulch over that square. And then we're going to put the swing up there. And I'm going to do two areas like that. And we'll go from there. So that is my plan for today. And I want to get the walls finished. I've got two walls and I just want them done. I'm so tired of the dust and the dirt. And I'm just like, I want them done. So roommates at work today... I have today off to get stuff done before Krista comes and yeah because it is what it is and I am going to get it done I want it done 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 so that we can start painting and get at least one room in the house finished you know with all the walls nice and the floor nice and I'm getting there and so the front room is our first room and we're working on it but I do want to get the area where I can sit out on the swing if you know me sitting outside in the evening on the swing is where I want to be so I'm making my little corner and it didn't really cost me anything I think the metal frame I was scared it was gonna be cheap because it was only like a hundred bucks online but when I came it's really sturdy it's that powder coated baked stuff and yeah I'm really happy with it if I can get it off my phone I don't know if I can or if I have time to do it but I'll pop a picture in it um if not I'll probably put one on Facebook or something all right guys so I'm gonna get off of here you've heard everything the Krista thing the puppy thing the truck thing the coop thing you've heard it all you know which three I'm working on one of which I is I have to think so I haven't been working on it I have these two things to give away figure out how you want me to do this um, I have an idea but I don't know if people would do it I want to give them away as loyalty prizes because there are people that come back every week and watch regardless of what I have to say 
So, uh, you know what? We're just going to do that. We are going to do that. Comment down below. Please remember, I will be checking this. How long you think you have been watching. Um, and it can just be a reference point to... Uh, I started watching back when RJ was 12. And yes, he was doing this when he was 12. Um, I started watching back when RJ was in high school. I started watching back when. And give us a memory of what you remember the first ones were. The one that I can pinpoint that has replied. I'm not going back to look and see who's been there. I am going to go back and look and make sure that they are a loyal customer. And then the furthest one. And I'm going to do them separate. We'll have a, a first part. The oldest, second oldest. You know. So um, the oldest you can remember. This. And then this. And please remember that we do have a, a little. We have access to. The whole so you can't go back and watch our first video and say oh I've been a loyal viewer since and the dates not match because I can see when you became a viewer and yeah if it doesn't match then I'm not gonna believe you um, also I know the names that respond to me all the time and I do know you know so I'm gonna try and do this as fairly as possible and I'm going to go back and read and research these because we don't get a ton of entries. So, yeah, I'm going to see if I if I can't pull this off and I can't do it fairly um, or I don't have the time for the research, I will come clean and we'll just do a drawing. But I am going to try and see my oldest, most loyal viewer would get this one and my second oldest that I can verify would be this one. So yeah, we're going to try it that way. Might make a little bit of more work for me, but I do know that my loyal viewers are the ones that um, will claim the prizes. I know Teresa, she has been there and and commented and I've got a couple others that comment, um, email me, post to Facebook, you know. Um, there's one that when we quit posting for a while, she still stayed in contact with us. Hey, haven't seen anything. How y'all doing? Just drops us a message to find out. So, um, yeah. And then, of course, there's those people that pop in just because they see it on YouTube giveaway. They enter, and then they never come back to find out if they won or not. So, we're going to try and avoid that. If you are a loyal follower, put your oldest memory, what you remember about us when you first started watching, um, and it, it could be something stupid as RJ's little antics because God knows he has a ton of them. Um, yeah, just, I know that some people came for the fiber class. Um, some people came, I did a fiber study years ago, um, where we reviewed breeds on a certain day of the week. Um, yeah, just let me know which time or an event or what you remember about what when you started watching us so all right i'm gonna get off of here i've got to get to work i've got a lot to get done and i only have one day off so i'm on it i'm gonna get back to work and i will talk to you guys later don't forget to comment below on the oldest thing and like i said we're gonna try and do two giveaways if I only get one response or one that I can prove, first prize might end up with both of them. But right now, I'm just shooting from the hip, first and second prize, and then, you know, we'll go from there. I will talk at y'all next week, guys, and let you know how Coop is doing. Um, I probably will post to Facebook this afternoon on the doctor's report. So I will talk to you then. If you don't follow Facebook, next week I'll a video out and her update will be on there all right bye guys